He who spends the night in a state of remembrance and reflection, desiring the hereafter, wakes up in the morning enthusiastic and joyful. This hadith highlights the importance of a thoughtful nightly routine. Today I'm here to guide you through seven habits deeply rooted in the wisdom of Islam. We will explore how we can end our day in accordance with the teachings of our faith, preparing ourselves to welcome the wonderful gift from Allah, the blessing of a new day. Number 1. Gratitude Reflection Shuka. After understanding the importance of a thoughtful nightly routine, let's dive into our first practice, Gratitude Reflection or Shuka. This practice is about ending our day with a heart full of thanks. It's a beautiful way to remember Allah's blessings in our lives. Before you sleep, take a calm moment for yourself. Think about the day that just passed. Look for the good parts, no matter how small. It could be something like enjoying a nice meal, a kind word from someone, or even just the peace of a quiet moment. In each of these, there's something to be thankful for. Say, Alhamdulillah in your heart, feeling grateful for these moments. This simple act reminds us of Allah's presence in our everyday life and helps us see the beauty in even the smallest things. By doing this, we not only end our day on a positive note, but also strengthen our faith and trust in Allah. Before type number two, Help us to spread the message of Islam to a wider audience by simply clicking on the subscribe button and sharing your insights in the comments. Number 2. Reflection Muhasaba Building on our practice of gratitude, our next step in a meaningful night routine is nightly self-assessment or Muhasaba. This is a moment of quiet self-reflection where we look back at our day to understand and grow. After your gratitude reflection, take some time to evaluate your day. Ask yourself, how well did I handle my tasks? Was I kind and helpful? Recognize your good actions and also note where you could do better. This isn't about criticism, it's about learning and improvement. Whether you lost patience or missed a chance to do good, Acknowledge these moments and aim to do better tomorrow. Muhasaba is about being honest with yourself and using your reflections to grow. It's a way to ensure that every day we're moving closer to being the best version of ourselves as guided by our faith. Number 3. Making Dua for Loved Ones Let's embrace a heartwarming practice. Making Dua for our loved ones. It's a simple yet powerful way to show our care and to bring blessings into their lives. Each night, spare a moment to think of your family, friends and others in your life. In this quiet time, ask Allah to protect them, guide them and grant them happiness. Your prayer could be for their health, their success or just for their overall well-being. When we make dua for people we care about, it strengthens our connections with them and deepens our sense of compassion. It's a beautiful expression of love and selflessness. Number 4. Planning for the next day. Moving forward in our nightly routine, the next step is about planning for the next day. This is where we think ahead and decide what we want to achieve tomorrow. Aligning these goals with our Islamic values and personal aspirations. After reflecting on today's experiences and expressing gratitude, focus on what you wish to accomplish tomorrow. Choose simple and achievable goals. Perhaps it's offering assistance to someone in need, devoting time to a personal endeavor, or enhancing an aspect of your daily prayers. Ensure that your goals for the next day are realistic and positive, whether it involves showing more patience, exploring new aspects of Islam, or simply spreading kindness, every goal is significant. Number 5. Understanding our control Let's consider a simple yet powerful idea, understanding what's in our control and what's not. 
this lesson is about recognizing our limits and focusing on what we can actually change or influence. Every night, think about your day. Remember the things that happened which you couldn't control. Maybe the weather, someone else's actions, or unexpected events. These are part of life's flow, things Allah has planned out of our reach. Now, shift your focus to the things you did have control over, like your reactions, your decisions, and your attitude. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught us that we can't control everything, but we can control how we respond to what happens around us. This nightly practice isn't about feeling powerless over what we can't control, it's about embracing the power we do have. It's recognizing that our choices are ours to make, guided by our faith and beliefs. Number 6. Reciting Quran and Dhikr As we continue our nightly routine, let's focus on reciting Quran and Dhikr. This important step helps us connect with Allah and keep His teachings in our hearts. Every night, set aside a bit of time to read from the Quran. Even a few lines can have a deep impact. As you read, try to understand the messages and how they apply to your life. Think of it as a conversation with Allah, where He offers you guidance and reassurance. Then move on to dhikr, which is the remembrance of Allah. Use simple phrases like Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, and Allahu Akbar. Repeat them quietly, focusing on their meaning and feeling the connection to Allah. This is a tranquil moment to feel closer to Him. This daily practice of reading the Quran and doing dhikr is a powerful way to calm your mind and bring serenity to your heart. It's more than a routine. It's a meaningful way to end your day with gratitude and love for Allah's kindness. Lesson 7. Disconnect from the world. In our nightly routine, the next step is about stepping back from everyday distractions to deepen our connection with Allah. This practice is essential in creating a space for spiritual reflection and peace. Each night, take time to put away your phone, turn off the TV and distance yourself from the day's busyness. This is your moment with Allah, a time for quiet reflection, prayer or simply sitting in stillness, feeling His presence. This disconnect isn't just about being away from electronic devices, it's about mentally stepping away from the day's concerns and plans. Focus on the present moment immersing yourself in your spiritual relationship with Allah. This helps to clear your mind and opens your heart to deeper spiritual understanding and emotions. By doing this every night, you craft a peaceful end to your day. It's a practice that brings you back to what's truly essential and strengthens your bond with Allah. This nightly pause brings tranquility and purpose, setting you up for a restful sleep and a spiritually focused morning. Number 8. Embracing Discomfort As we move to the next part of our night routine, let's focus on embracing discomfort. This lesson reminds us that life's challenges are opportunities for growth and strengthening our faith. Every night reflect on the moments of the day that were challenging or uncomfortable. Maybe it was a difficult conversation, a setback in your plans, or a test of patience. Recognize that these moments are not just obstacles, they are tests from Allah designed to make us stronger and more resilient. In these reflections, ask yourself, how did I respond to these tests? Did I maintain patience and trust in Allah? Remember, our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, taught us that strength lies not just in physical power, but in steadfastness and spiritual resilience. Embracing these life tests means seeing them as chances to grow closer to Allah. It's about learning to find peace and strength in discomfort, knowing that Allah is with us, guiding and supporting us through every challenge. Number 9. Journaling for Spiritual Insights Let's delve into something quite boring yet powerful. Journaling it's a quiet, 
reflective practice that can help us capture the spiritual essence of our day, turning everyday experiences into lasting lessons. As you settle down for the evening, grab a notebook and pen. Start by writing down what comes to your heart first. Maybe it's a moment of gratitude, a particular challenge you faced, or a verse from the Quran that spoke to you today. There's no right or wrong here. It's all about what resonates with you personally. Think about how these moments connect with your journey in faith. Perhaps a small act of kindness reminded you of the importance of compassion in Islam, or a challenge reminded you to be patient. Write these reflections down. This is not just a diary. It's a map of your spiritual growth, a tangible record of how Allah's guidance unfolds in your life. As you continue this practice, your journal becomes a treasure trove of insights, a personal anthology of faith and learning. Number 10. Remembering life is short. Now on to the final and perhaps most important idea, remembering that life is short. This thought helps us focus on what really matters. Each night, take a minute to remember that our time here is limited. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, told us to often think about this. It's not to make us sad, but to help us appreciate our life more and live better. Ask yourself, if today was my last day, what would I do? This question helps us think about what's truly important, like being kind, forgiving others and doing good things. Remembering that life is short reminds us to not worry too much about small problems. It helps us to be nicer to people and to make our relationship with Allah stronger. So, as you get ready for bed, think about this. Let it guide you to live every day in a good way, being thankful and doing things that make a difference. If you've learned something new from this video or want to share your experiences, please share it with our brothers and sisters in the comment section below. Also, if you enjoy our content, don't forget to watch our next video over here.